Rather than being Washington DC, I would want to be here. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. This doesn't suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's yeah. like I, I figured out how to how to work from here, and it it, it could certainly be worse, you know. Yeah, uh, definitely would not want to be there. Uh, hold on, I actually, I'm trying to take some questions here from the huh? chat. By the way, uh, a lot of people are asking. There's there's a guy who's a beloved, you know, he's he's, he's a, just a misunderstood guy actually. His name is NBA Young Boy. Okay. Uh, he's been on. Federal house arrest. He lives. He lives in Utah. He was on federal house arrest for like two and a half years, which mm -hmm. was, was to me just sounds wrong. Like if, if, if for what? Uh, for gun possession. He basically shot a music video. Uh, they believe that they, they got a call that hey, there were guys on a block that was they were shooting a video and they saw weapons. They pulled so up. They don't the even police, know. Well, the police showed up. No, no one was there. They grabbed one guy who happened to be his cameraman. And because he's a big name, they see him on, on camera holding what they believe is a weapon. And they're like, well, we're going to give you charges for that. So he has federal charges for that. But it could have been a prop. They don't even it know. It could have been a prop. And they've been arguing, hey, this is a prop. That's their actual argument in court. He's been sitting on federal house arrest for two and a half years. And, you know, he got picked up today. Uh, some something happened at his house, I guess. You know, uh, they, they they raided it and they picked him up. And now everyone's saying you got to ask um, um, Donald Trump Jr. Uh -huh. if Trump gets back in office and this guy's locked up, we got to throw him to the top of the party. Come I, on, I, I, listen. Hey, I'm a big Second Amendment guy. We just I'm a this Second Amendment. I know you are too. too. I also know that the other president's son lied on his gun form, which is a federal offense. Yes. There's cocaine on the gun case, so you can't have drugs and be an active user while also on that. True. And you know they're. Kind of, sort of going after him with it at this thing, but it's not like if there's no proof and it's a prop, that seems like total bullshit. So, uh, uh, you know, and again, I know that I wouldn't get any benefit of the doubt when it comes to this government and this DOJ either. So, like, I'm, I, I take that one pretty seriously because as someone who has a lot of guns and loves shooting and, and, and does all that stuff, I think when they abuse that and they try to push, you know, down the Second Amendment, I think I have a real problem with that. Well, I'd have about, to get into the details because, you know, I'm no, sure there's course. another side of a story that no, maybe I'm not yeah, hearing. Yeah, yeah, someone, no, well, well, they, they ran this, like, I'll be fair, they ran this house saying that he was, he was um, doing drugs while yeah. on house arrest. His argument is that, hey, listen, you've had me in the house for two and a half years. Mentally, he's affected me. I have these prescribed. Yeah. They're saying, well, you didn't get these drugs legally because then any fraud. It's a lot of stuff. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Feels like there, there's more important things we should be worrying about, perhaps. Yeah. But, like, yeah. you know, that, that's yeah. another one. I mean, not even in well, this, but our federal law enforcement should be concerned about other things than right. that. Like, it doesn't seem like good use of their time. W what about um, federally repealing, you know, the law against, like, marijuana? Yeah, I, okay, so this is one that can definitely get you in trouble on certain sides, but, like, I know just growing up, a lot of people, alcoholism, issues like that. I think that if everyone who had a problem drinking smoked weed instead, mm -hmm. the world would be a much better place. Mm. So, you know, I, I don't love opening the door for all of these things because I, you know, I don't know that, you know, heroin should be legal, even if I'm a little bit libertarian yeah, in yeah, some yeah. of these things. Like, you know, I Didn't do Oregon see... Oregon, like, like, like I, I see allowed that, some amounts of, like, yeah, cocaine? Like I, but, and I don't know how to turn out. It, 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 well, well, I, or I know decriminalize. They, 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 they decriminalize. They decriminalize heroin, I think, in Washington this state, and they're like... Holy crap, we have a serious problem now. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so there, there's some limits to it, but like... I Look, and then, he, obviously, the, the Rumble, you know, Triggered podcast. And you probably got to go to his page to see what he's posting, because super, super shadow ban, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to pop into your feed, I promise you that. But uh, you know, if, if you follow me, you'll, you'll probably have a couple laughs out of it. You won't Whether get... you agree with anything I say or not, it's still funny. Exactly.